G'day guys, Polly Bart here. Uh, got to put the music on hold for a bit. We've got to talk about something today. Um, don't worry, there is a song coming about all this and it's quite amusing. Uh, we've now had two events in Melbourne where Victoria Police have presented bills in the tens of thousands of dollars for providing police officers to provide security. It happened last year at the Milo Yiannopoulos Show and it's happened again recently at the Lauren Southern and Stefan Molyneux event. Victoria Police are pretending they have powers to bill private event holders for providing police resources to control protesters. I'll let them explain in their own words. Um, certainly, we, look, um, I think to clarify, we haven't given a $40,000 bill. I think there's some estimates done from some of my people. We do have a capacity in, in Victoria to charge promoters and others for events that occur. Now, this is not uncommon. We'll, you know, for the Boxing Day test, um, the MCG will get a bill for the police attendance, the same as grand final, the same as a dance party at the showgrounds. This will be treated like no differently to any other venue or any other event. And we will, uh, we've got our accountants in the background over the next couple of days. We'll make sure that the numbers are right and uh, we'll be sending them an invoice that we want, that we'll want them to settle. So there is a definable uh, 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 cost to this. So uh, VicPol have some costings per officer, depending on the seniority of the officers, and they're working through that right now. But th this will at least uh, be a bill for about 50000 as a minimum. $50,000? Yeah, yeah, back to the organisers of this event. We send the invoice to the venue. You know, it's up to the venue how they manage that with the promoters that come in and out, but we'll, we, send a, we send an invoice to the venue, and uh, that venue will be getting an invoice from Victoria Point. Okay, so not much detail there. Uh, let's bring up regulations and have a look at them. We're going to focus on section 7C and D, but it's interesting that 7B says there's no charges for general traffic management as a result of build-up from the event. That seems to be establishing a principle that any consequences to the community will be considered part of general policing. Quite interesting. Section 7C deals with charges allowable for indoor events and Section 7D deals with outdoor events. Uh, both the Milo and the Lauren Southern events were indoor events. Milo's was at the Melbourne Pavilion in Kensington and Lauren's was at the La Mirage on Hume Highway in Somerton. Let's hear James the lawyer give us his reading on the regulations. Um, I just wanted to discuss this issue with the, the fees being levied by... Um the police the, uh, for Milo's uh, seminar. Yep. The principle of the, the, the law that covers the ability for police to charge, I'm a lawyer, and um, the, it's, in the, it's under the Victoria Police Fees and Charges Regulation 2014, and it does give the police the ability to charge for a commercial event, and only a commercial event, which is why... Uh, so do they have the option not to charge? Well, of course they do, but I think um, from my analysis of the legislation, there's two types of events, and they're basically categorised as events that are held in a public area yep. and events that are held inside a private venue. Now, an event that is held in a private venue, the police can only charge for the time and effort they use to control traffic coming to and leaving from that private venue. Well, I have to agree with James. It seems like Section 7C should be the only relevant section here. Uh, the promoter of the Milo event claims to have met with police prior to the event, discussed paying for policing arrangements and was presented with and paid a bill of around $6,000. Now that sounds like Section 7C in action to me. Let's see what examples the police and the minister are using to justify these. The MCG will get a bill for the police attendance, the same as grand final, the same as a dance party at the showgrounds. But for these sort of these sort of uh, rallies, but also for, uh, you know, the AFL and those big events, it could be the football, it could be the tennis. So it's common practice to send the organisers of controversial events or any events that involve extra police resources, you send them a bill? Absolutely. Okay, and do they usually pay it? Yes. All right. Um, be cool to say you're going to ignore a, a bill from Victoria Police. Wow. Did you catch that nice little thread at the end there from the Minister? Pretty big call to ignore us standing over you, waving an illegal bill at you. <clears throat> now listen to what it sounds like when a clueless minister totally makes shit up as they go. Here's Lisa Neville discussing the same issue during a recent interview about the upcoming Lauren Southern event. Do we know if Milo ever paid his bill? He hasn't paid it. So hasn't he paid was it. presented with the bill and he hasn't yet paid it. And I know that there is uh, discussions going on at the moment uh, with the, the solicitor... VGSO, our government solicitors. And look, all I'd say about that is, I, I remember at the time people said, oh, why are we 
charging, you know, for protests, but because he's got a different view. That is not the case. This is any commercial activity. Uh, we ask for a contribution from those commercial providers where police are required to able to be able to have. Sure, a, but when, um, you, when you say you ask for a contribution, I mean, it's oh, one thing to ask, though, it's oh, a sorry. voluntary donation. No, no, no. Sorry, there is. Sorry, they have a, a, a right to charge. Right. And they have those fees are set out, so it's not a random amount. It's how many police, what sort of rank, etc. If if the uh, the talk on Friday, if there's no violence, it's it's, it's you know it becomes a bit of a, a, a lack of a problem. Do, do you still charge the promoter, or, or well, is it if, purely if a, for the police turning up? So in lots of cases, promoters themselves will come to police uh, and say we ne we think we need additional police here. So there would be an arrangement reached around that. So it, each case will vary, but and it will depend on how long police are there, how many are there. Well, that's it, guys. For mine, it's either extortion or stupidity or ignorance. Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to lodge an IBAC complaint against the police and the minister for the Milo event, there's a link in the description to a text document that contains instructions and all the text to cut and paste into the complaint form. Uh, it's about as easy as doing an online petition, but IBAC's got investigatory powers.